Welcome to the Relative Dimension, a Shadowrun actual play podcast. With this, we continue our classic campaign. This is episode 54, Dream Chipper Part 12, Lone Star. So it's 2 in the morning, where are you guys going to crash? Yeah, I don't want to sleep in the back of the Hummer again. We have a shared lifestyle now. Drop me off in Redmond. Okay. That just sounds dangerous. That's steady. He can handle himself. He's fine. I'll leave in the Barrens. All right. As yeah, you guys are going into the Barrens to drop Teddy off, I'm dozing in the back seat. I'll have my agent alert thing when it's done. Um, Lightning, give me an audio perception. Wait, you mean I have to log into the table? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I didn't even notice. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's, it's like it's you guys have been doing your thing. I'm just like, well, well, you yeah, go. The table's a thing, isn't it? Actually, Ag, I know what I'll be doing while I'm waiting for my agent to run through. So while my agent's been writing stuff for the last hour, I reload my weapons and get everything straightened back out. <laughs> Sounds good. Since you know, I had to give Teddy one of my pistols and load it with stick and shock, and now I'm gonna. Yeah. Um, on the way, uh, yeah, I'll actually be going through uh, the thing that was in the safe. Seeing if there's anything interesting in it. There you go. Four successes. With four, um, you're stopped wherever Teddy wanted to get out at. Hey, he up and trying to slash it out. No. Where, by the way, where is Teddy trying to get out at? Uh, somewhere near my second lifestyle, but I don't tell them that. <laughs> so somewhere around the black block from it. Okay. So you hear a scream. And your spatial recognizer, um, with four, yeah, it's very faint. So your spatial recognizer triggers it at fairly far away, um, down several blocks. And then you hear another one, and then another one, all roughly in the same area. I said, Teddy, are there usually, usually people screaming around here? Huh? Don't you hear oh, the people screaming? You know the neighborhood, you know. What, screams? Multiple? Yeah, a bunch of them. Where? I point that away. Oh, God. We're going to go, aren't we? I clamber back into the Humvee and ask for a drip. Okay. What are the rest of you doing? Well, if he's oh. actually projecting it, and he's actually want to go driving around. Right, exactly. Uh, I'll continue. Uh, on, the other hand, on the other hand, he's actually projecting. This is the perfect time to go driving around. <laughs> this is cruel. <laughs> I never told you not to go driving. Yeah, but the problem is, is we don't have half our gear. All right, uh, Teddy, give me a perception check. Okay. Oh, crap. Not bad. No, that's not bad. Okay, you go zipping off in that direction, and uh, not knowing what you're looking for, you do happen to stop where you see a crowd of bodies. A crowd of bodies? Yeah. So they're all still kind of upright? Yeah, and they're fairly close, and it looks like they're converging. Close to what? Each other. Oh, it looks like a sort of like a flash mob of zombies. I don't know where you'd get zombies. It looks like a bunch of people. Oh, okay. (laughs) You said standing in a crowd. Originally, had this impression of a bunch of dead people all kind of arranged in upright positions in a crowd. So when you said bodies, it sounded like dead bodies. That's yeah. That's what we're confused. Like, how would you be distinct from people? Okay, so a bunch of people in a crowd running together or something? Are they running or walking? They're mostly together. They're getting closer together. They're converging on a place? Yes. It or looks they like converging it. on each other. It looks like they're converging on a place. Is there anything special what's special about that place? Nothing that you can tell. I manifest. Okay, you manifest. Now well, give me another perception check. Okay. One. Uh more people start to scream and they're pointing at you as they're screaming. Okay. I uh I do something silly like uh pull down my pants and moon somebody. Okay. So a ghost pulls down their pants and moves. Yeah. Astral mooning. You hear, you hear, that must be it. Anybody a mage, follow him. Follow who where? And then somebody else, I'm a mage. Okay, I'll follow you. And he actually <laughs> perceives. Uh-oh. And are you doing anything? Yeah, I'm waiting to see where he goes. Well, he's not going anywhere. It looks like he's getting ready to cast a spell. I look around for the target. Okay. Okay. Looks like you're the target. <laughs> Yeah. yeah I was about to say, hey, target meet self. I, 
I, I, I look uh, worried and horrified. What? Hey, what are you doing? Lightning, now is the perfect time to go racing down the steep street. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like he's casting a spell at you. I counter spell. Uh, you may counter spell and oh. roll willpower to defend. Mm, no, I got two points in it. Is it just willpower? Just willpower. Um, any dice that you spend are used up for the for a combat turn. Yeah, no. Uh, Seriously, you should have turned it around and just pointed at him. Well, if he's a mage, he obviously did it. Not really what it is. <laughs> Three successes. Oh, you defend. Hey, what, what are you doing? Murderer! Hey, it looks what? like he's getting cast again. I look around to see who was murdered. Give me another perception check with minus two this time. Oh, gee. Somebody must be standing on the body. There's a crowd of people. People are blocking the body. Yeah, but you should still get an aura. Oops, of the don't, don't take that. Yeah, don't take that. It should be free. Forgot to click perception. I just saw the minus two. Critical glitch. Yeah, you don't see a body. Probably standing right on. Probably. And you hear somebody else. Hey, there's Lone Star. Signal them. I wave my hands over my head like I'm waving for a monster. Where? They're not telling you to signal them. They're telling people I next to I know that. I know, but... And the other guy is attempting to act- cast a stun spell on you again, so... I he's acting harmless and, and, and helpful. <laughs> By mooning them? What the hell does that hurt anybody? The most they can try to do is arrest me for sexual assault or something like that. <laughs> And this is the Redmond Barons, which, you know, you get assaulted every half a block. Yeah, this is the Redmond Barons, and any star that's in the area aren't nice people. <laughs> um, he is casting another stun bolt at you. I dodge. <laughs> Actually, this is not a bad thing. Is there, like, something I can step behind that isn't a person? Um, not immediately, so but yes, afterwards. I mean, if there was, like, a, a door or something I could take cover behind without it. He's slow, too, so you can counterspell the whole time again. The whole thing. I do. I would hide behind not so that. <laughs> What's that? I hide behind that organic mass that's not moving. Actually, I'm not very slow. My astral initiative is pretty recent. What are you oh. saying the guy is? The guy is slow. Yeah. Just the one advantage that projecting mages have over perceiving ones. Oh, I gotta roll, that's right. Well, also, it's it's the Riven Baron, so you need to know the guy's the He may not be all that powerful. Two successes, Jack. Okay, you take one stun. And then it looks like the guy is breathing heavy. Damn, he's a powerful mage. And he stops perceiving. I, I like, I'm still manifest, Joe. I know. Okay. I, 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 I you know. He can't like, do anything to you unless he's perceiving, though. Yeah, I got that. I'm trying to cast on the astral plane. And you but, can't uh, do anything to him now, so. Yeah, I know. I never tried to. Now take a breather. Hold down. Watch out. The headache's a little killer there. You know, relax. I don't need advice from you, murderer. What a murderer. What did I do? Other people are now pointing at you, but down towards your feet. And look at my feet. Uh, you are standing in a nice pile of organs that are neatly... <laughs> That are neatly <laughs> arrayed and arranged next to a body that has been split down the middle and had the, you know, its, inside, uh, its outer flaps pulled open. What the hell? Well, that, no wonder they thought you did it. Because <laughs> you're standing on the body. Yeah, well, I'm actually projecting. It's not like I'm leaving footprints. <laughs> yeah, he's not even disturbing the remains. All right, who did this? Most of them are screaming that you did it. They're screaming? Don't try screaming? fooling us. It's about time we track you down. Anything. I wave my hand through some, like, plant post or something. I I crouch down beside the body and, and look at it. Go, like, medically, can I tell anything about what happened? Like, how it was killed? Um, Surgical or was it claws? You, you can't really manipulate it for a good look. I don't want to. I just want to look at the wounds. And you said it was peeled open, right? So Yeah, was, it was peeled like, open. So does it look like a clawed? Opening, or was it like a, like a surgical slice? It looks very precise slice, right down the middle. But it was strong enough to go through the sternum. And it, the person is looks very recently killed. I mean, just minutes ago. Fairly recently, yeah. You call Lone Star. 
Make sure they, they get here quick. They're already on their way. Oh, good. They'll find you this time. This time? What? You mean this has happened before? You would know. What? No, I wouldn't. And it looks like, uh, from what you can tell, a few cruisers are pulling up into the area. Okay. I'll wait. If they try to pull up right really close, I, I approach the cruiser. Well, no, they're not pulling up close, because there's... Uh, it's been oh. a minute, maybe two. Okay. okay, I was thinking, you know, if it had been more like ten minutes or something. But... No, from where you are, you can see the lights, though, as Lone Star looks like they're pulling up into the area. Oh, okay. Well, this looks promising. Um, and as Lone Star pulls up into the area, most of the people are now starting to scatter. Yeah, that's not surprising. Did the mage try to leave? Yes. Yo, stop. I get in front of him. Yo, where do you think you're going? He ignores ah. you. Ah, hey, okay. l- leave me alone. I don't want to die. Also, it's not going to kill you. No, you will. He turns ah. the other way. Ow, dude. Ow. Where yeah, try, try not to shot so much, please. Yeah, cool. that, that was loud. Yeah, okay. He, he was really getting into it. Okay. I, I didn't argue with that. I, 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 I go back to Lone Star's Cruiser. Help. That's where he seems to be running. Help, okay. help, he's following me. Say that, Joe. You said he looked like he was running away. Right, and then you got in front of him, and he stopped and turned around. Good, okay. I walk calmly back to the cruisers. I have my astral hands in my astral pockets. Because, you know, I might want to fast draw a gun. Apparently. <laughs> Hands up! He, he's running towards the cru- one of the cruisers, yelling, help, help. There he is, there he is. Yeah. I walk. I'm scrolling. Along up. Um, Keep in mind, I'm scrolling the asteroid, so probably did a decent you actually kind of you zip where you're going. The ground. What? What was that, Rosa? I said you're just kind of walking on air about foot off the ground. Uh, I'll probably... Re- Probably no, no, no. Stack, above the covers. Um, three of the cruisers. So, uh, two people on each door, or one person on each door, rather. Two people from each car. They open the doors and they get out, uh, pointing their guns in your direction. Hi, officer. I'm like five feet away from them, Joe. Right. Okay. I stop. And I, then a I, a mage manifests, or an astral form. Oh. Manifests. Nod in his direction. What's your business here? And the guy is yelling, he's trying to kill me. He's, he killed that person. Did not. Astrally, I can't touch anything. Yes, we're aware of that. Uh, yeah, I figured you weren't dumb. Uh, I just heard a scream and came here. The mage stops for a minute. I didn't see anything. Do you need any help trying to track down who did it? I could summon a spirit. Uh, Oh, you're manifest now. Uh, the mage stops and turns to the side. He must be close. See if you can track him. I'm assuming not He's the long He's telling though. me? What's that? He's telling me to track him? Okay. No. He turned to his side where there's nothing visible. Okay. He said he must be close. See if you can track him. Oh, okay. Uh, I think he's checking you. Yeah, you can try. Do hey, I can I will, if I have some sort of spirit manifest next to me, I'm freaking the hell out. <laughs> Keep in mind my uh, my positive quality. I know. Okay. So we're just seeing all the lights and stuff of Lone Star over You're there. You're seeing lights and yeah. If there are a couple blocks of lying, yeah. I'm just going to look at lightning. He's taking a sweet time, isn't he? I cross my my arms and lean against the, the cruiser. Teddy been a few minutes. Hmm. Yeah. I was, I was there, then he's probably talking to him. Ah, uh, yeah. I guess he's chatty. <laughs> Well, he does live around here, so, you know, good, keep, keep, keep good, um... Hey, should we just push his body out and we drop them off? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't... <laughs> sure, and you, can, and you can stay with him so that you can explain why the, why this is the situation. I was just asking. I will not say we should. <laughs> Go take a, take a nap in the back, okay? You'll be fine. Yeah, obviously you're getting, you're getting even less useful. Thank you. Uh, I'm, um, Ag, I'm still going through that book or whatever, the the thing that we found in the safe. Yeah, it looks like, um, mostly, it, almost like a tour guide type of thing. Um, it looks like it's from HSE. Uh, there's places, 
it lists um, places where there are HSE offices and businesses that are friendly to HSE. You know, if you are here, these are some of the people you can talk to and that we do business with and where you may arrange lodge. You know, it's that type of thing. So it lists a whole bunch of port cities, um, not around the world, but within a few days travel from there. So mostly up and down the coast of uh, the western coast and uh, that area to where somebody on a small yacht might reasonably get to. And if they're doing business, places, uh, people they can contact. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Okay. I'm not... All right. Well, that's fine. It, it, if Connect isn't sleeping, I'll tell them, do something useful. See what's on the cred stick. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah. Look at the cred stick. What's on it? Uh, it looks like a corporate cred stick. It's not certified. There seems to be um, a balance of 200,000 new yen. Okay. Uh, wow, I wish I had a higher column. Oh, there's not much on this. Um, so you said it's not certified. Does that mean I need to crack it? Yeah, if you wish to hack it, you need to go to Zurich Orbital. No, no, what, that's what I'm saying is, is it crackable? Or is, is it already, do I need to crack it? It's on an account. Um, you can try the biometrics, but it's not easily hackable. Okay. So it's 200 grand that we probably can't touch. Pretty much. Okay. Yeah, Fair. pretty much. Hey, people have touched our accounts before. We could do it to, the, to this. People have touched our accounts before with some grade A hackers. You got me. No, grade A hackers. <laughs> no, not really. I mean, with yeah. time, you can probably uh, fence it to somebody that can make use of it. Right. Well, you know, we well, could we'd probably, probably only get about we could probably twenty grand. Off it. like forty thousand, forty-four and a half thousand, just throwing a ballpark out there. I don't remember having any hacked accounts. Uh, yes, when we got captured, both me and Jones' accounts got hacked. Okay, I don't remember that. So, you know, I'm saying we might be able to siphon about 44,500 off of that thing before Zurich cracks down? More than likely, uh, your fixer's name, whose name's eluding me. Eve? The Eve. More than likely, Eve will know somebody who can siphon off. We sell it to them, oh, okay. we might be able to sell it for like 60 grand, 40 oh. grand. Processing. That's fine. Well, we'll we'll figure it out. Um, we we if we do that, we we'll have to do it quick because clearly he's gonna know what's missing once he actually you know gets revived and stuff. So I'll call Eve. <laughs> we we're not doing much of anything else. I I'd like you to consider the current situation and the idea that your com is gonna have a record of calling Eve on it when they capture you if they do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We might want to hold off on the whole. Well, who captures me for what? Uh, it, well, yeah, well, tracks Blue Hummer. If they find you, your com link will have a record of calling E, which means they could find E. I still haven't figured. Out, are you talking about Ten Graves people? No, he's, he's talking about, about the Lone Star that is outside the Lone Star the that is literally, oh. almost literally right now. Yeah, those guys. So what we are going to want to know who Fosh is and where he is, when where his body is, and they're going to go come right back to right here. So so let's wait on making phone calls to you know people who you know transport illegal goods um, until after we talk to Lone Star. If okay. we have to talk to them, you do realize that we're transporting illegal goods right now, and it's probably yeah, already been reported. Yeah, I don't know why you're still there. I'm just saying yeah, this is stolen them. property. Yeah, exactly. a two hundred thousand credit credit stick. Yeah, I don't understand why you're there. Okay. The, well, the spirit wasn't manifest, materialized, so you don't see it leave anyway. Um, several of the, um, the people. I well, will. Oh, sorry, go ahead. I, I will go ahead and view astral, go, uh, and, and see, uh, ascent, uh, you know, astral and see if, uh, just to kind of keep an eye out on stuff. So. Give me a perception check. They are fairly far down the road, so what you see may not be much. Yeah, three though. Uh, from this distance, you can see um, Teddy. You've seen him enough actually to, to know he's there. Plus, you know, when he manifests, he kind of still looks like himself. And there is a, a spirit circling him. Yeah, I kind of figured. 
Yeah, okay. Um, there, there's some sort of spirit um, around him right now. I'm not sure what it's doing. Um, a couple of the officers start going up. They are not the ones that are in the doors pointing weapons at you as though that matters. <laughs> I let him point. I'm, I'm, but I'm sort two of, of them go up to the body and start investigating it, and they're pretty much ignoring you. I'm sort of like the doctor, you know, the, go ahead, point your weapons at me if it makes you feel comfortable. You know, Lightning, we can kind of dump them in an alley over here, and uh, we can pull back and just keep an eye on them. I don't the far. just drive off. Because we're taking your body with us. So? What What is the procedure for that? I mean, how hard is it to really find your body once it leaves? Uh, not too hard, but on top of that, I can just look in the usual places, like, you know, your... Oh, right. Flat, okay. Stuff like that. As long as it's... Yeah, he but knows where our... The downside stuff. is you're taking me to some place if they track my body astral, which is a little more difficult than me finding it, but uh, it is possible. So you may not want to take me to any place that you don't want them to find, but even still, you don't have to be here. Uh... What, what so is, there's probably a place nearby the where we meet Teddy. Yeah. Like yeah, yeah, we'll do that. Uh, you are there. The local stuffer shop. What? Okay, uh, we go to another nearby one where we sometimes meet him. One that's further away. Well, we don't even have to be further away. We're just, you know, uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, further yeah, further away. Further away. Stuff. Yeah, yeah. So, so basically one of the places we've been to a few times. Let me put it that way. So it might take him a little while. Like down, down. Oh, no, not yeah. this one. Uh, not this one either. Oh, okay, there they are. The uh, the manifest mage looks prepared to cast anything. Uh, one of the guys behind the door. You still haven't answered. What's your business here? I heard a scream and I came to check it out. On the dew gutter. Right. And did you see anything? Uh, yeah, a bunch of crowd accusing me of having murdered somebody. I accidentally astrally stepped in. Mm-hmm. I didn't see who did it. it looks surgical. One of them said this might have happened before. There were other victims. Uh, the guy opposite him in the door kind of turns to his shoulder and starts muttering something. Is that like a serial killer on the loose or something? Let me guess. Ongoing investigation. Can't comment. Um, Teddy, yeah, give me a memory check. Okay. Unless Teddy is purposefully misremembering. I'm not purposefully misremembering. Well, we have heard about serial killers. Yeah, but I don't remember one recently. Yeah. No, I don't remember any Uh, two, okay. Um, in the past three days, there's been like seven or eight prostitutes murdered in this fashion. Okay. You guys were talking on the street, you know, discussing oh. things when two of them walked by yeah, and went over the there and questioned them about it. Yeah, yeah but remember I had to let Val back. use my car to talk to yeah. the Joy Boys? I even remember speculating about uh, whether it was like related to the gang activity, but I didn't think so. Huh. Hey, Ag. Yeah. How close are we to the other mur- the other location for the murders? I mean, they told us where they were, right? Yeah. How close are we to it? The other location, I mean. Well, they range. Two miles. Well, I remember. I wasn't actually one of the ones that overheard about the prostitutes. It was lightning, and we followed, and I didn't know why. Right. And then you guys talked about it. Well. Yeah. Okay, five-block area. So somewhere within a five-block radius, these murders, two, we know of two of the murders. Okay. We get a third point, we'll have an area triangulate. Maybe we can... More than two. <laughs> oh. Sorry. All right. So we have a pretty good idea where this guy operates out of. Five-block yeah, well, radius. Well, 15 block area, 3 by 5. So you think this serial killer is a dwarf? They seem to be ignoring you. Okay. Uh, let's see, those are the seven that you're aware of where they were. Uh, this one happens to be probably right around there. It's the most recent one. And you guys are parked like four blocks down that way, for example. Uh, he turns to the, the manifesting mage. Anything yet? She turns to, no, it'll take some time. Right. Keep me informed. And we're going to be all over Seattle with Teddy. They take pictures of the scene. You know, the usual stuff. The canine unit shows up with the hellhounds. (laughs) Yes. (laughs) Time to go. (laughs) 
I had, I, I don't do hugs. I had a bad experience. Okay, so you guys drive around to another place and, and just stop? Lightning? You're, hey, you're driving. Yeah, what? So you just kind of went a few blocks away to a different spot and stopped? Yeah, we found, uh, we stopped off at one of the other stuffer shacks that we need to get. Okay. Well, time passes. How much time? Uh, it's about, well, I don't know how you'd estimate time. Well, is it minutes? No, it's more than that. Okay, I say, I'm not going anywhere, but this is tiring. I stop manifest, but I stay there after. Which she can see you then, because she's, she will stop manifesting too and stay astrally. I've only got about like a half hour of manifesting, so but um, I can stay yeah. astral for a while. So. The, uh, eventually, a van rolls up and they load the body. Uh, for you guys, about an hour later, still nothing's happened. Mm-hmm. And again... Scaly, or, uh, Jones, are you still looking astral? No, no, Scaly's listening. He said he'd be right, right back. Ah. Uh, okay. Uh, I, I was just going to simply ask you, hey, is there anything to go out here? Because I'll just call a cab and uh, go back home and y'all guys call me when this is all sorted out. Well, oh, they stick around doing paperwork, um, and it takes a while for them to get the body loaded and stuff. I got that. I so, an hour or two. Right. At the two hour mark, I'm just waiting for them to get around to me. What's that? I'm just waiting for them to get around to questioning me. Uh, they, you didn't see what happened. So, at the two-hour mark, um, your astral, so the spirit returns, talks to the mage, and then they both leave. So, all of them are left? No, the spirit and the mage. Okay. Oh. Welcome back. Oh. I wait another minute or so, and then I manifest. Hey, uh, Jones, are you still perceiving out there? Officer, your mage left. This man, uh, I'm free to go. Yeah, I would, I would still be perceiving. Okay. Yeah, seriously, I'm thinking about this calling a cab and heading off, and y'all guys, you know, wait for Teddy. Then do it. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Yeah, do you can, you can go. Go do what yeah. you need to do. Yeah. I, I'm just gonna head home and. Grab Was Doctor Jones still perceiving? Uh, yeah, I'll probably, I mean, because I figure... You're in a different you know, area. That's fine. I mean, you know, if someone's going to follow him, it'll probably be astral than, than not, okay. especially a spirit. So, yeah. So, a spirit shows up. Oh. Okay. And is there briefly and then leaves. Um, the spirit found us. That's right, I'm going to tell Lightning. You what now? Huh? You what now? The spirit found us. It popped in and then left. And then a What's moment spirit? later... The spirit returns with a man, with a mage, who manifests and takes a quick look around. Mm. Uh, hello. Hi. Oh, I know where this is. And then they both leave again. Uh, <laughs> uh, I think Lone Star's coming. And two of the cruisers stay with the the coroner van, basically. And a moment later, one of them. Um, uh, hold on. Before when, before all when that. When the mage leaves. Yeah. Uh, and Sweatin has has um, Connect already gone at this point. I think this is when he's getting ready to leave. Oh. Um, unless we're doing something else. <laughs> you like no, connect, so grab everything you don't want Lone Star to see and get in a cab and leave. Yes, exactly. He, he That's takes what I'm the, working on. He takes <laughs> all of our illegal stuff. Like right now. Pretty much. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. Okay, what illegal stuff? Uh, let's see here. Well, my cyber deck, for one, that's still writing an agent program on it. Even though it's not doing anything legal, the cyber deck is. <laughs> well, if you have a license, that's fine. Can we uh, no, they're agent forbidden. Agent they're not restricted. Just give them the list. Uh, I'm a, I don't think I'm licensed for everything I have. I'm not worried about I mean, it. I think most lightning, of your big lightning. guns were left at home. Mm-hmm. Right. Exactly. Right. So, so the only thing illegal is the cyber deck and the uh, cred stick, which I'm taking. Mm-hmm. Cyber decks are restricted. Cyber decks are restricted, not illegal. Right. Just the information on it would be suspicious, so you still might want to get rid of them. Right. Like I said, we got to get you some data chips. Yeah. Um. Basically, for for this is it's mostly everything that we took from the boat. He could take with him. Okay. That's basically my plan. 
<laughs> yeah. Uh, that, that, that's real. everything else I'm not that concerned about. I don't think there's anything in there that's going to be concerning to, to these guys in this case. At least. And you're in the Baron, so who are you calling for transportation? Uh, come and get me. <laughs> is there, oh, there, I don't think there's a cab system out there, is there? Not really much. Well, there's not cabs waiting around anywhere. Yeah, you, you can probably call one in. Yeah, I'll, I'll call for a, a Baron cab, which, you know, I know I have to pay extra for, but they'll come That's and fine. get me. And you, uh, we'll, we'll have him sitting at a separate table. So I would have had him sitting at a separate table well before that anyways. Cause he wouldn't have been, if he was planning on leaving, cause, uh, you know, I didn't want all of us sitting there with him, you know? We would have been spread out. Uh, wirelessly transfer 50 new yen up front for them to actually come in to get you. And then the fare will be based on where you go. Hmm. Okay. I'll go ahead and do that. Cause I found my journal. There we go. All right, the 50 million has been wired. I'm just waiting for my pickup. Probably want to walk a block or two and have him pick you up there. Right. Since, uh, All right, I'll walk, I'll walk a few blocks away. All right, roll me an edge check. Damn it. I'm sorry if you get mugged. No, you're not. Yeah, because that all you have all of our evidence. That's I don't want fun. you to Having to do a run on a, on a tenement building to get back the chip that was stolen from us. That we stole. Successful. That was stolen from NECA. It's gonna be like playing hot potato. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah. But I see, that's alive, the, yeah, that's the lightning could just go and do that while you guys are, um, are you yeah. guys <laughs> Lightning just runs over and, and gets everything that needs to do. You know, this poor mugger. Like she, she, she just goes, just give me, uh, an hour. She goes away, comes back with a shotgun and says, okay, I've got it. <laughs> okay. Um, five minutes later, a Lone Star cruiser pulls up next to you guys. I continue to sip my coffee. Well, my fake coffee. Yeah, I'm just like, okay. I'm eating whatever we ordered. <laughs> I don't know. Far and away. <laughs> uh, I, I, I they go up to the Hummer. Because you I, guys I are mean, sitting out I, somewhere. Yeah, I suppose actually we'd be, we'd be sitting just outside the Hummer. Yes. Yeah, probably, yeah. Not like chilling in it. So they go up to the Hummer. Uh, flashlights shining in the windows. I, I will, I will leave that walk away. Is there a problem? Uh, is this your vehicle? Yeah. Please unlock You're the looking. door. Okay. If you're looking for the mage, he is in there. I will go and open the door. <laughs> and put two to in Teddy's head and walk away. Did did he do something wrong? Knowing Teddy, he probably was in the wrong place at the wrong time. We're not uh, sure yet. So yeah, I unlock the door. Go and, like I go and slide the back open so they can take a look and so Teddy's probably sitting in the back there. Yeah. Uh, this is where mages piss Lone Star off. Because he doesn't have the 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 ability to get thrown to the ground, handcuffed behind him and tased. Won't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, actually, it'll do a lot to you. So they lose all their ability to, to be overpowering and, and abusive. No, it, it'll still hurt eventually. You just feel it later. Yeah. <laughs> well, actually, any physical damage they, they do don't get to the his body, back. he'll feel now. Um, <laughs> they zip tie his hands behind his back. Um, What's he done? Yeah, what, ha- what, what has he done? I'm curious why you're zip tying him. If you haven't charged, have you charged? Presence at a crime scene. And they put a hood find over out what's his going head. On. Yep, they put a hood over his head. Mm. And then uh, a female walks out, and one of them tells, okay, uh, retrieve him. Who's the female? Another Lone Star op- op- officer. Oh, okay. Teddy, I don't think you're going to like this experience. Um, a moment later, <laughs> the spirit goes back up to Teddy. Mm-hmm. Your body is restrained. You may return to it for questioning. Okay. I go back four blocks down to where I thought I left it, and I don't find it. And then I need to begin looking. So it's going to be, I think, a sensing plus intuition. So ten dice for me. Eight. Hold on. Three successes. Which should hit a fairly, uh, fairly moderately difficult attempt to find a body. Sensing intuition... One hour extended test. Yeah, you start to look, and you could ask the mage where it, it is. takes you an hour, and the spirit is there with you. The spirit's just following you around. Yeah, no. it follows you around for a few minutes, and then this way, 
<laughs> it gets us okay. it's annoying. Like oh, these. And then it follows through. And then it gets you to where your body is. And I I come back into my mind. Alright. <sighs> I wait. Does she put up an astral barrier? No. Not yet. Not that you can see. Well, I'm in a hood, so you can't see but now, if you don't mind, what were you doing at the... I heard a scream. I actually projected and went to investigate. I manifested standing in the body and did not realize. A bunch of people accused me of killing it. I have no idea what the hell they're talking about. It's not like I can cut open a body while I'm actually. Uh, and I told you this at the crime scene. Now, yes, how much time do you want me to repeat myself? Your body could have cut something and then you left and came back to... Did you to... suspect a dwarf of cutting up this prostitute? Did it? Did the, the person holding the knife look like they were this tall? We haven't found anybody holding the knife or else we would know what no. they looked like. And forensically analyzed wounds. And you can tell, like, if they're left-handed or right-handed, how tall they were, that sort of thing, from the cuts they made. Did it look at all in any of the crime scenes like it was possibly me? I can answer that for you because the answer is no, or you would have brought it up immediately. So, no, I did not physically hurt any prostitutes. I told you. I heard a scream. I manifested to find out what was going on. I don't like people who live around me being hurt. We did just drive into town recently. We didn't, we weren't here for very long before the screams came out. So, um. Teddy tries to look at Doc and glare at him, but instead he just kind of turns his hoodie. Um, the two of you see the, the officers. Casting a spell and touching me? Looking, uh, at each other. Funny that you don't know what's going on and yet you bring up prostitutes. It's been on the street for a couple of days now. We heard other prostitutes talking about it. Also, if it looks like Jones is about to talk, I will, I, I, like, I'll give him a jab in the back when they're not looking. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Jones will not talk anymore. That's the other reason why I left. I'm not good at the whole talking thing, so. <laughs> hey, Jones is not good at talking. But that's why he does it. No, right, that's why I jabbed the back to shut up. <laughs> Hey, he didn't tell him say anything that wasn't true. See, see, Jones gets the jab in the back of the neck. We get the club of the head. <laughs> uh, he knows nothing. Seriously, come on. He doesn't enjoy anything anymore. All right, I go back to eating my stuffer shack burger. They are conferring. <laughs> uh, Jones and Lightning, give me a perception check. Okay. Hey, this is where it gets interesting. No, just one. Four again. For lightning, they seem to be glancing at you quite a lot out of the corner of their eyes. At me? Oh, boy, that means you fit the physical description. See, that's what's going to happen here. Well, because it's an elf. Oh, okay. It could be any elf. I will will remain oblivious to their lock glances. I continue to sip my coffee and watch this with interest. Mm -hmm. Jones is also an elf, isn't he? What? Jones is an orc. (laughs) Jones is an (laughs) orc. What the hell? (laughs) Have you been paying attention? We had this conversation about who was the only human. Jones will knock you out next time, okay? Just for calling him an elf. How many times have we said we are a very diverse group and the only thing we don't have is a troll? You're right. I'm suddenly really glad I'm human. Whatever, you should have been a troll. Then would have been much more sense. Well, no, Sora's going to go off on y'all guys, and I'll just be like, Okay. Well, if you guys can't think of anything else to ask me, then how about I ask you something? Why are you so concerned about some prostitutes in the barracks? Oh, okay. how's that search coming? Oh, I think we lost Stag. No. Oh. I'm trying to find something here. He's trying uh, to find why they do give it time. <laughs> uh, Joey, I, I mentioned the touching me and casting a spell because of the tech truth. Yes, I know. Okay. If that's what you're looking at. It would be fairly common for a police investigator to have it. I wouldn't be surprised if it's in, like, first week of Lone Star Academy, main The week. problem first is Detect Truth keeps them from, you know, being intimidating. I know. Well, you can have them roll their intimidation, and I'll tell them everything they want to know. Or they can ask me questions, and I'll tell them everything they want to know. Such a tough decision, isn't it? Yeah. In any case, I'm cooperating. Yes. If, if so, you, uh, you know, the female picks up. Starts talking. Okay. We care because 
this many of a pattern indicates a problem. Yeah, but it's not like you've cared in the past. You can't see the glare. Well, I care too. What do you know of the Universal Brotherhood? <laughs> oh, son of a... Well, fairly well organized and financed. Suspicious finances. Um, tend to do a lot of good in the community, and a lot of people have a, a lot of faith in them. I think there's something up with them that's not good. And I've heard rumors, but nothing I really know. Sure, that was the first lie I told. Yes. Uh, give me a con roll. You mean body? Or charisma minus one. Oh, charisma minus one? Oh, con. If you don't have con. Ah, uh, I do not think I do. I got charisma minus one. Uh, that's because it's about the Universal Brotherhood. I'll be spending the edge. Sorry, how many hits did you roll? Two. Universal Brotherhood. Hmm. The prostitutes are from the UV? Huh. That's funky. On the night of March 5th, where were you? Do I remember what March 5th is? Was that the run? Maybe. I don't remember. Mm. Yes, it was. Oh. Mm. Mm, I don't remember. I see. What of you two? Hey. On the night of Thursday, March 5th. I will, I will tap my head and vote, or tap, tap my chin and vote. Um, what was that? Was that, was that a Saturday? It was a Thursday. Yeah. Yeah, well, I'm pretty sure I went out with some, went out for some drinks. Mm, and then had a few games. They nod and then kind of, uh, glance at each other again and they're suspiciously silent for a few minutes. Um, one of the, the guys, so right now there's two males and then the female mage. One of the guys walks to the back of the car. The other guy opens up a VR window that you can all see. Except me. Except you. And on it is some very crude... Long Jones. Sketches. I'm the only one that can see it. They are some very crude sketches. Actually, I'm not going to see it unless they took my trolls. So if they took my trolls off, I can't. Um, no, you'd be able to see icons, but not okay. anything else, because it still interacts with your eyes. But the the mage does walk over there and rip the take the hood off. These sketches look uh well at the right angle rather similar to you three. Well, that dwarf is pretty attractive. <laughs> and then he he swipes and there's you know Shake. another sketch of uh it would have been Jack at the time. Yeah. And he swipes again. Um, and there's one of. Well, there's a sketch of all of you. And then he swipes again, and there is a picture that is slightly blurried that appears to to be of a female elf um, standing at a bookshelf. Uh, not quite clear enough to have features, but it looks, you know, like somebody got a picture of lightning while she was in the lobby. Yeah, is that one of those elf wannabes? You know, the fake ears? <laughs> Jack got all that data. Out of character. It could have been like a camera across the street or something. I don't know. Or somebody's cyber eyes. Yeah. Let's see. Is detect analyze truth. There it is. <laughs> so since she's close, because she did take the hood off, she does attempt to cast a spell and touch Teddy. Counter spell. I'm not going to make it easy for her. Let's see. This <laughs> is active, directional, mana. So you would roll willpower logic plus counter spelling. Two successes, not that great. A little bit below average. Ag? Uh, yes? Am I going to be him for an 18? I don't know, that's up to you. How come you just ask questions like that? I, I was just asking. It doesn't sound like it's going good. She's suspicious. She thinks she found a possible uh, perpetrator of another crime. She doesn't have any direct evidence. She has some vague sketches. And one picture that is yeah. also vague. Yeah. Yeah, but also doesn't link in any way to the crime. Other than, you know, oh, well, this person was here. I mean, essentially, she can throw us to the court system, and, you know, as soon as we hire a lawyer, it's over. I think we even need a lawyer to make that not stick. Yeah, it'd be kind of a mistake on her part to do that, because it would close off too many avenues to later follow up. Right, exactly. Right now, they're just fishing for, like, well, she's yeah, this stupid. Looking, looking at Jones, you know, in a knowing way. <laughs> Her, her spell didn't succeed, but, you know, they talk, 
ask some questions before. Uh, if you don't mind, let me, uh, actually they wouldn't ask that. They start doing a background check on you. Mm-hmm. A sin check. Yes. Central. <sighs> if it's a good one, this is going to be inexpensive. All right, so which rating sins are you guys broadcasting? I got my rating five. Six. Okay. They don't have a sample, but they do have good checks. What is uh, Jones's rating? Oh, six. My my push to talk got reversed, and I got confused. I was like, wait, why, why are you why are you asking me again? Yeah, we were asking for you earlier. I know, and I I realized my I was I I don't know how long I probably haven't been you probably haven't heard a word I've been saying for the last few minutes. Probably not. It's, it's for the best. Yeah, All right, we'll go sure Teddy about. first, then Jones, then Lightning. Twos across the board. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be a case of I know they did it. I just can't fucking prove anything yet. Yeah. Yet. You know, they question you. They run your sins. Mm-hmm. They wait a while. They're obviously discussing it in AR through comlinks, because they're silent while nodding at each other and stuff like that. Uh, now I'm going to get bored. <laughs> and, and one of them finally... And out of character, by the way, going to a precinct is a good way to find get a Lone Star contact. So after, you know, about a half hour to 45 minutes of them conferring and running and asking you more duplicate questions about the Universal Brotherhood, they seem to have, have uh, dropped anything about the murders here. I try to keep bringing it back to them. Yeah. And then, uh, ah, yes, fine. Um, I'm afraid we're going to have to charge you a fine for public manifestation and disturbing the public. I look at her, and in the most deadpan voice, say, fine. <laughs> we both know this is a bullshit thing, but I'm not going to push it, so go ahead. That's dead. That deadpan stare says a lot. Especially since it's a dwarf, i got to look up. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> It just makes it even more of a stare. Yeah. She she has you um artif- artif- AR artificial real artificially sign a um a ticket <laughs> type okay. of thing. And fifty new yen fee. Okay. And then they cut the zip ties off of you. <sighs> I cast you on our wrist. You're free to go. Thank you. Go. Um, can if I you do remember anything, are, who are you asking? A lady. Unless the other ones look like they were, one of them was asking a more pertinent question and seemed to be in charge. But for now, the mage. Um, one of the guys was, was the one that seemed to be more in charge. Oh, well, then ask for his card. He sighs, goes into the car, comes back, hands you a card. Thank you. Again, if you have any other pertinent information. Oh, I'll be sure to contact you immediately. Thank you. None of us wants a murderer running around. You got that right. I should hope not. And we part ways. Yep. Uh, let's see, would a lieutenant be on the street? Probably not. Probably be on it behind a desk. So probably sergeant. Yeah, they they would send a detective if they were in charge of it would be the kind that would go around afterwards, but wouldn't respond to like a, a call like that. Right. Well, it might be that there might be a lieutenant. There might have been or will be a lieutenant at the investigation. At the emergency. But not here. No, I would think that if they were like on the prostitute case, then they would be called immediately upon a report and they would try to show up. Right, that's why I'm saying there might be one nearby, but yeah. I don't think he would have been the one to come here. This kind of reinforces my, my point of view that there really isn't that, they aren't really that serious about the prostitute murders. Okay. Of course they're serious if anybody asks about it. Yeah. <laughs> they're serious on paper. So, uh, Joe, we're gonna, we're gonna double check. Both mages is astrally perceiving, making sure we're not being followed. Um, uh, we should probably meet up with, uh. You are being followed. Um, okay. Not for long, depending on where you go to. Um, I'd like to go through a place that has some astral barriers. So, the tubes. If we go downtown and travel through the tubes to a couple other places downtown, take the tubes back, et cetera, et cetera, it'd be really hard to follow us. Astral anyway. At two in the morning? Yeah. Um, There's always... If, if you guys start heading downtown, by the time you get a mile away, you're not being followed anymore. We think we're not being followed. 
you're pretty sure. The spirit was, you okay. know, I'll take obvious and visible, and then it hit a point where it was, it's not a bound spirit, so it's not going to go far. Yeah, it can't go more than 100 yards from her unless there's a binding. Yeah. But I already knew that it could do that, so. So about a mile away, you guys can stop and wait and, you know, get a, a large open area even, and there's nothing. Okay. I will take the Game Master's hint. Uh, we will meet up with Kinect and have him do a quick once-over for hidden devices on the car. Because, you know, we weren't, you know, if they were yeah, just you know, on while we weren't looking. Even so, I recommend parking it a couple blocks away from any of your destinations for a little while. And we can switch cars. Okay, let's uh, uh meet up tomorrow midday. You mean today midday? Yeah, because like, I'm sleepy. But I need to stay awake for this. Yeah, I think we all need to know. The card, um, yeah. if you look at it, yeah. no. it's Sar- Sergeant Drake Johnson. Jackson, sorry. Drake Jackson. And it has his com, com code, com information. Yeah, I assume. Okay, so we uh, we need to check out those numbers, but it's going to take time, right? So nap time. Yeah, the agent is still doing it. Yeah, let's, let's crash someplace and get some Z's and meet back up. So about um, 10 a.m., mm-hmm. you guys wake up. Okay. Wherever you happen to be. Um, two of the numbers have been searched so far. Yeah. One of them comes back to information on somebody at Renraku. Okay. Another one is um, somebody at Ares. Okay. And it is still searching on the other four. Yeah, we don't want to call Eric's. <laughs> okay. Uh, do a quick search local news, see if there's anything about the boat event. Not that would be on the news. Um, Executive mugged on the high seas. Yeah. Straight up. Apparently bandits from Washington Sound are now preying on executives in yachts. We interviewed this. <laughs> there is a, a report on a kidnapping um, that happened on the Sound with the aid of, of Doc Wagon. The kidnapping was thwarted. There is brief footage of Val. Okay. It, it has somebody there talking about how she must have been drugged. She doesn't know where she's been, what's going on, how she ended up on a boat in, in such a situation. <laughs> I didn't even think about that. And you guys have the idea that she might have forgot, not known what was going on once the ship was up. I didn't realize we'd left her on a boat in the middle of the sound. Kind of an interesting place to wake up. It's fine. At least she didn't kill Pengrave. <laughs> There's no mention of the fact that he was also tied up. Um, they're very vague on the identity of the male. Of course, because clearly that would be a major scandal that he's paid his way away from that one. Oh, let's just stand by. And, yeah, so there's that. Not much on the mugging. Um, anything like that. Looks like anything involving him directly is being kept quiet. Probably a good idea. And then, who did you guys talk to about Cooperman? Freya. Uh, Flair. Hee <laughs> Of your own contacts. Cooperman. Uh, can we contact Eve? Eve is out of town. Right. I think it was Slash. Yeah. Uh, I contacted... Uh, hold on. I Not on Cooperman. Yeah, no, I, I just contacted, need Cooperman. I contacted my contacts to that person. Uh, Slash? Teddy, you're getting a call. Okay. Answer it. Teddy. Slash? You were looking about a, a face recently. I was making certain inquiries, yes. Well, the grapevine has it that somebody else is making inquiries, too. Interesting. Uh, And you thought I'd be be willing to pay for this information. Yeah. And And it's the strangest thing. Why is it strange? Just coincidental. Let's put it that way. Well, how much? Uh, For you, 500. Okay. You wire it over? Does he accept a wire? I don't know how he operates. Yeah. Okay. You can send it via comlink. I do. Seems uh, there is a person that this Cooperman owed 
a, a rather large sum of money for a run that got stiffed. Really? She happens to, to be looking for that large sum of money. Any idea who? And how much? Uh, the money, no. Just, I'm hearing terms. I don't know if she's going to get the money back. It was just, like I said, it, it caught my attention because you were recently asking for him. Somebody else is now asking about him. A Miss Westerfield. Miss Westerfield. How do you Joe? Does that ring any bells? I don't have it written down. I don't think anybody's mentioned that name before. Hmm. Any first name or alias? Uh, first name is Valerie. Oh, I'm not surprised. And uh, the information isn't all that useful to me. But I'm happy to give you a $500 tip for thinking of me. Thank you so much, Flash. No, oh, are you sure? I don't think. No reason not to get it. You haven't told me anything that I oh. expected. Like I said, word is on the street that she's looking for a few people to help go try to collect her money. Uh, oh. They were looking for fast sometime today. I guess she knows where he is or where he will be. And doesn't have the manpower to do it herself. Hold on just a second. One second. I call up uh, Doc and Lightning and see if either of them answer. Sure, I'll answer. Lightning, um, uh, stand by. I might have an interesting situation. Okay. And, I, and I'm trying to get in touch with Doc, too. I hope he answers. I call, I'm call, Teddy's calling. Oh, okay. I'll answer. Uh, you were, you, were you, were you, were you seen by him or her? Actually, her doesn't matter. Were you seen by him? Uh, what, on the boat? You know, use little references, okay? Oh. Um, we criminals. As you say that, um, whatever. Um, <laughs> you already blew it, but I'm just saying, use references. <laughs> Deniability, right? Anyway. Uh, yes, yes, see? I was. Okay. Um, that's not. Do they, do they have a description of me out there? Not that I know of, but interesting thing, a, a certain lady is trying to hire some runners. Oh, is she now? Yeah. Uh, I think this is amusing. Um, should, should we take this on? The girl didn't see us. Oh, I, I, well, you can't come, but I'm thinking Lightning and, and Connect and me. You could be in standby. Follow us and ask for them. You think we should arrange a meet? It can't hurt. Let's see, let's see what she's got to say. Connect did want to talk to her. I think it's fantastic. Great opportunity. <laughs> okay, I'll tell Slash we're going to take this out. We're going to show up at the meet. Uh, okay. I click over back to Slash. Joe? Yes. Slash, um, uh, I got some uh, some friends that are interested. Uh, can you arrange a meet? I can. Uh, it is short, what I know, it is short term. Uh, rather quick, rather, I should say. Um, the money is not high, but she doesn't expect much opposition um okay. and there's like i said she's looking for for owed payment which if she gets i guess she's willing to split some of that too okay and then he uh well i got two others two others hey what don't you have more usually uh, i don't think my friend my, i don't think doc can come but you got a mage and a decker and uh 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 someone good with guns okay um hold on here he Puts you on hold. Ah, uh, phone tag. <laughs> I love this. About five minutes later, yeah. he comes back on. All right, uh, he gives you a spot in the Barrens. Okay. In an hour, if you can do it. Um, I think it's I short, it is short notice, so she's willing to, to wait there, but she'd like to do it as soon as possible. I understand completely. Will do. Thanks. And I call, I call, uh, Connect. Hello. I Connect. don't think my search has come back yet. That's okay. On, let me um, check. Uh, there was someone you wanted to talk to last night. Um, meet me in an hour. Okay, where? I'll give him a location nearby the meet. It's in the Barrens. Okay. Oh, hey, by the way, uh, our, our mutual friend is out of town right now, so I won't be able to get her to look at that thing that you asked me to have her look at. Is that the credit okay. stick? Okay. Is that the, is that the credit stick? Okay. Out of character, yes. Oh, okay. I got you. 
Um, see, see, I understand what he wants. Dang it. Yeah. No, no, I got it. That was that interested in the Krensik, which is why you had to pick yeah, it up. Yeah, I, I can just give it to Bob. Bob can do something with it. Okay, so, uh, out of character. We know Dodger. Hey, I, I don't get to use Bob that much. Let me use Bob, okay? Chill. Okay. Good. Use your content. Uh, I flip back over to Doc and, 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 uh, Lightning and tell him, uh, where the meat is. Uh, Doc, you should be uh, astral. Okay. And, Wait, uh, am I on this call, call as well? I'm calling everybody individually. I'm going to tell them uh, where to meet. It'll be a, a little distance from the meet um, so that we can get together. Same place I told you. Okay. So out of character, if we can all get there in an hour, we meet up uh, a short distance from the meet. Yeah, it shouldn't be a problem, I don't think. Joe can have a short You can all get there. Okay. Okay. Cool. So... Doc is the one that might have been seen, so I'm keeping him on the down low. Well, I don't... She didn't see me. Well, wait a minute. Did she see me at the party? She didn't see him. She didn't see you. She saw me. Yeah, but I'm not worried... I'm the one that shot her. (laughs) I'm not worried about uh, what she saw, remember? The Topps Company, Inc. has sole ownership of the names, logos, artwork, marks, photographs, sounds, audio, video and or any proprietary material used in connection with the game Shadowrun. The Topps Company, Inc. has given permission to Relative Dimension to use such names, logos, artwork, marks, and or any proprietary materials for promotional and informational purposes on its website, but does not endorse and is not affiliated with Relative Dimension in any official capacity whatsoever. Relative Dimension is licensed under a Creative Commons Attribution Non-Commercial 4.0 International License. You can share us, but please give us credit. The intro is Return to the Sixth World. The outro is Double Cross, both off the Shadowrun Return soundtrack, used with permission from Hairbrain Schemes. And thank you to Sirenscape for the additional music and sound effects. You can find more information at sirenscape.com. If you would like to get in touch with the Relative Dimension, you can visit our website at relativedimension.com. You can contact us, email at podcast at relativedimension.com. You can visit our Facebook at facebook.com slash relativedimensionpodcast. You can check us out on Twitter at relativedpod. You can check out our Patreon if you wish to support us at patreon.com slash relativedimension.